welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. Today I'll be taking calls. Um, if you want to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, and I will answer your questions, help you connect to loved ones on the other side, or you can join us live on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday. And um you can join in on the chat, ask questions on the chat. We're usually here 15 minutes before the show starts talking with each other. Um, and I am answering questions there, which has, you know, kind of thrown me off a bit this morning. Um, so here we go. The first question that I'm going to start with so I can get this out so that I can get on with the show is from Zaylee. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And she had asked this a couple of weeks ago about what to, they're planning a wedding for her sister and her grand, they want to include her grandparents. And in this particular show, prior to her asking this question, I was saying that I was getting Elvis and like some, some other things. And and then she gave me some details. And I hit, I did actually answer this question after the show in the chat, but then found out I can't. So here we go. Um, Zaylee, for the wedding, what I'm getting is include pictures of your grandparents, especially at the bride's table. Do like a little memoriam, memorial, um, memory, like um, pictures there. And then I'm hearing little bitty bells at the table so that when people ring them, that that's like symbolic of your grandparents. Um, that's new. I did not include that in the answer though. And then, um, <clears throat> oh, the music included in the music, like Elvis Presley, Love Me Tender. I'm hearing um, the polka polka music, roll out the barrel, or, and then any other polka music that would have been a favorite. And then I'm hearing old, old town, old town. You'll know what that means, old town. And something that your grandmother would have cooked very well, baked, baked or cooked very well, and I'm hearing the word, um, it would have been considered a delicacy, a delicacy. Make sure that you have that if, if it's a possibility, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> she, they, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys something. They were not going to let me do anything else until that. Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Um, I am going to be taking calls, answering questions, just like that. We start, and I'm sorry for the, the intro, folks. Uh, that energy was strong and not going to let me not answer that this time. And, um, you know, you guys might think, like, get it together. But when people, loved ones from the other side, are really needing to get a message across, Sometimes I don't really have the, yeah, uh, their energy is very powerful over um, it, wanting to get their answer across is, a, is the way I'm going to say it. It's not a bad thing. They just want to make sure, you know, I don't forget and I do say it and I don't move on like I normally do with everything else. <clears throat> I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start the show <laughs> like I, oh my, it's going to be one of those shows. Uh, I hope you guys are ready to laugh. I'm going to start the show like I do every time with all of the loved ones on the other side, their, um, their names, your name, or somebody important's name, and then we'll go into songs. The song could be answering a question. The song could be a song they loved, you loved, or everybody listened to together. The song could be um, it could be it could be just a number of things. Um, so if it resonates, it resonates. If you feel it, if it's familiar, then it's chances are for you. And yes, people have asked me, oh, you know, you said this name is it for me? If I say a name, even if it's for four other people, it is still for you. Okay. So the first song that I have been hearing 
since yesterday is I'll stop the world and melt with you. It's something you've made a difference and it's something all the time, that song. Um, and then the next song that I'm hearing is, um, I don't even know if this is a song, but I'm sure it is and I'm not getting the, the beat right. Uh, don't let go. Um, I'm not even going to try to sing it because I don't know the rhythm. I just keep hearing don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. And then, um, and that's not for you, Heather. <laughs> that message is not for you, Heather. <laughs> and then I hear, hear the song fooled around and fell in love. I fooled around and fell in love. <laughs> or maybe that's with you, not woo <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I know that Amy May listens to the show afterwards. And Amy, your song today is... It's weird that I'd get, they would be so specific about a person. I, I totally skipped names, went straight into songs. Amy May, um, your song is, um, uh, what, oh gosh, it's a, life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Woo, thank God I'm a country boy. Got me a, and I know this song came through a couple weeks ago also. So Amy, that's it for you. And then, um, you know, uh, I'm going to go to names now. I'm going to go to names now because now I'm hearing the names. And the first name I'm hearing is Brian or, yeah, Brian. And I know that name comes through a lot. The next song I'm hearing is, or the next name, the next name I'm hearing is Lucas, L-U-C-A-S. And then the next name I'm hearing is, uh, okay, Luciana, Luciana. That's a, that's a really pretty name, actually. And then Olivia, and I'm hearing the name, um, oh, Loretta. And uh, hey, Loretta, how are you? And then I'm hearing the name, um, M Y C K M Y C K Mikaya Mikaya I think if that's a name for you, you're going to know it's for you. If it starts M-Y-C-K, it's for you. Now, this could be a first name or a last name. And then I'm hearing O'Brien. O'Brien. And again, it's a first name. Oh, maybe that's what the Brian is. Maybe O'Brien, but they could be two different names. Um, and it could be a first name or last name or middle also. Um, and... You guys are just playing with me now. Then I'm hearing dungarees. <laughs> and I think on that, that's where we just cut it. That's where we just cut the names when I start hearing things like dungaree. We've got the dungarees going on. Boom, boom, boom. But I don't even know. That is not a song. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys, I was up all night. Not to get lucky either. Because <laughs> there's that song. Up all night to get some. You're up all night to get some. I'm up all night to get lucky. That Yeah, that was not my case last night. <laughs> Do I share too much information sometimes? I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> G's P's and Auntie Louise, and I don't even have an Auntie Louise. Okay, here we go. 
Uh-uh. We are going to take calls. I want to say hey to everybody. Hey, Jess, what's up? Um, uh, girl, I love your face. Uh, Zay Lee, dungarees high up above the knee, my knees. Oh, God, Zay Lee, thank you. <laughs> Dude, that did make sense to somebody. <laughs> okay, so if you're not on YouTube, you're not watching the chat live. Um, and I, did, <laughs> I, I was singing the dungaree song. Clearly, Zaylee knows the dungaree song. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Caroline. Okay, I'm going to, uh, Joy, welcome to the show. Oh, my silly grandmother would sing that. She had a funny sense of humor. So Zaylee, totally your grandma is here with us for 100% sure. Um, Genevieve, hey, and um, Heather, of course. Mimi, how are you, Mimi? Maris is here. Good morning, Maris. Uh, Patrick, hey, Patrick. Margaret, um... And then we have Sal and Rebecca and dun, 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 dun. I know there's more Terry and Terry's here also. Okay, you guys, for everybody who has liked the show already, thank you so much for liking. If you're listening and you want to know when all of this foolishness begins, uh, subscribe and like. If you don't, that's okay too. I'm going to take the first caller. If you want to call. 845-277-9131. You can call in with your questions um, and you can ask a question. Please have your question be a little bit specific so I can really get into that part of your life and get into that part of your energy. Plus the, the call log has been full for like 15 minutes already. And I want to try to get to as many people as possible. And then, um, or you can ask to connect with a loved one. Up, 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 up. I don't I I know that song but I'm yeah there we go that's that's me folks there we are there's my life that is it okay Amy hey Amy hey La Lolly hey Lolly okay um, the first caller, when I say your, I'm going to go back and forth between phone calls and dun, 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 questions on the chat. Oh, and here we go. 205, 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Connie, it's Patricia, I'm from Alabama, thank you You're um, for taking my call. Absolutely, Patricia, how can I help you today? Um, Yes, um, Tony, I, um, and I think you pretty much, um, was the one that told me about this job probably about three months ago. It's agency work in a health profession. Um, I started working this job probably about a month and a half ago. And, um, I don't know about this job. Um, what I've noticed here lately is our book shift. And then they would counsel, they, they counsel, counsel the ship. And then they would, uh, reach out for me for, uh, to work another ship that, um, I, I'm not available for. And then they'll come back and after counsel, counseling the ship, the, the ship that I'm available for, um, after I don't book for the ship they want me to work, then they send out uh, for me to book for that AM. And, uh, it's just almost like a waste of my time. Or do you, can you see what is going on here? Um, with the, with this, with this, um, company. Uh, okay. So a, 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 just a couple of things. Um, and I'm going to try to zip through them for you. Um, what's going on with the company is I think the shifts that you're trying to book are the most sought after shifts and that the shifts they're trying to book you, nobody wants those shifts. So they're just trying to, mm. it's not malicious. They're just like, okay, first when the shift comes up and like they need one person, but 10 people are booking it, then they try to put the people in the rest of the shifts that have not been filled so that they at least get a shift or so that they can 
you know, have people on that shift. I do feel like you should start looking for something else. Um, just start uh, seeking out what else is available. I feel like something is going to come to you very quickly. I feel like it's going to happen very fast. Like you're going to find something almost, um, almost immediately is what I'm hearing. Like as soon as you look, it's just going to pop and be right there for you. And I do feel like it will be a smooth transition from where you are to the new place. And it will not be a problem for you to, to transition. So don't worry about that. Okay, love? That's my next question real quick, Tony, is I have received an offer about a week ago from um, a surgery center. Um, they have sent me an offer for a job. And I, um, I want to know if that's uh, a, a good fit. And uh, do you see advance, advancing? Because I haven't been in um, the, uh, surgery, that type of, um, um, oh, God, what I was trying to say. I, I've, I've worked in surgery, but I haven't been around it in, in a while now. So what do you pick up, should I? you know, about me taking that, that uh, position from the surgery center? Um, the only thing I'm hearing about that, it, it, that could possibly be the position that they're talking about, but I hear get as many details as you can about that. Um, so sometimes if you Google a position with a specific, specific, specific company, they will there will be reviews on the position and the company. And these are on, yeah. so I would do that. I would find out about that. I do feel like at this point, you need to be in something that is not a high, high demand or a high stress position. I feel like you'll like it. I feel like you'll really like the position and you'll enjoy doing it. It'll invigorate you. Um, if you take it, will she be successful? Yes. Will she like it? Mm -hmm. Will she keep it? No. Okay. If you take it, you will, you'll be successful, but you might not stay at the position very long because it will be um, very demanding mm -hmm. of you. I feel like the, the people mm -hmm. that you'll be working with, either the is something about the position will be demanding and maybe it's just emotionally demanding or the people you'll be working with are extremely demanding. I don't know. But what I do know is that uh, you might want to consider, uh, you know, if you go and look today or whenever you're going to find, I feel like the surgery position is going to be there, but there's also going to be another position that pops up very quickly. Okay, sweetie. And only, only you know what you can, you know, it's not for anyone else to say um, what other people can handle, whether it's emotionally, psychologically, right. whatever it is, only you know if you know, if you were in surgery once before, you know what you can handle with that. Okay, love? Yes, absolutely. Yes, I do know that that work is demanding. Um, and I know you got to go, Tony. Right here, this is it. Okay, I got to live behind with this agency. Sweetie, sweetie, I'm sweetie, sweetie. You know, like paying. Here's the thing, you guys. I love you all so very, very much. And I, I try to be very clear in the beginning of the show. It's one question or one connection because literally there are over 50 people waiting to ask questions. And I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. So pick your most important question or connection. And I'm sorry, I always feel very badly if in like this case where I have to say, you know what, you're now going into a reading. And if you have a lot of questions that you really need answered, either call back on the next show or book a private reading, which I'm always happy to do for everyone. But I, it's one question per person just to keep it fair to everybody else who calls in. So I'm going to go to the next caller who is 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
And then again, I have a three second rule. If you do not respond within three seconds, I'm just going to the next caller also. 904, 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Wendy. Hey, Wendy, where are you calling from, Wendy? I'm calling from Florida. Excellent. How can I help you today, love? And I'm calling to see, am I going to be working soon? Um, I've put out applications, but I just wanted to know, you see something coming? Absolutely. So, okay. Uh, okay, so Wendy... I feel like two things, I need to tell you two things. The first thing is, yes, you are going to, let me ask you, sweetie, what's the area that you're applying to? What area of work are you applying to? Healthcare. Okay. In the healthcare. Very good. I feel like you are going to find something fairly soon. I feel like go outside of your limits. Okay. Is the first thing I'm hearing. So like if you're only applying to places that are <clears throat> near you, Go outside of that limit. Or if you're only applying to something that is very familiar to you, go outside of that limit. Whatever limit you have set for yourself, go outside of that limit. Second, I feel like there's the potential for an immediate, <clears throat> that the healthcare position is going to come in within a month. But I do feel like also you're going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody, my throat all of a sudden is very froggy. Um, I feel like there, if you wanted to, you could very quickly get a position doing something part-time on the side, doing, uh, doing something like, um, for, part, like part, like where you get tips or cash or something like that, if you wanted to, so that you could start bringing in cash right away. Um, or money right away. But I do feel like the healthcare position is coming within a month, but it might be outside of what you have set up your parameter for, for whether that's location or something else. But you you should know what that per, that that thing you set up is. Okay, love? Whew. Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome, Wendy. Um, good luck looking or good luck getting, I don't have to say good luck. It's coming. It's coming. But I do need to stress, Wendy, if there's something that you do on the side or something you're really good at or, uh, uh, uh -huh. or something that whether it's like, I'm going to throw out like 10 different things because I, I don't want to put it in one block. Like if you do nails or hair or brows or lashes or heal or read or uh, you 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 have or would wait uber or waitress or whatever it is they're saying if you do that it's going to change your energy and you will immediately open new doors for yourself in what you're looking for plus it's going to bring you extra money so whatever that thing is that you do or could do or would do um, it, it, it will open, it will open up your energy to put you in a better paying position when you get that position. I don't know if that makes sense to you, love. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank, thank you. you. So, thank you so much. You have an amazing day. I'm going to 417. You are next. I am going to go to, um, first I had a question up here from Joy. Joy, I wanted to ask if it's something, if there's something I can do to protect me from negative energy or psychic attack. Ooh, that is such a good question. I love that question. Um, I'm staying with relatives. <laughs> and I keep having bad dreams about them. <laughs> it's a very toxic. That might not be bad energy. That might just be like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to be funny, Joy. I'm seriously trying to be funny. Okay, Joy, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, for you, for them, for you, for them, for the house that you're in, and for everybody else li listening in your homes, um, we're going to ask that um, we're going to, um, it's clear, I get a no. Uh, 
It's unclear. We're going to clear that. <clears throat> and here, here's what I'm going to tell you, sweetie. Sometimes it's not necessarily the people. It's what's been hanging around the people for so long. Um, so we're going to clear all of this. We're going to try, you know, we're going to ask the angels to go in and clear out all uh, that is in this, in the house and with everybody involved. And this is for anybody listening in their home and everybody in their home. We're just going to clear this out. Who? Okay. And what I'm going to say is when we have dreams about people, it could be the energy in the house, especially if we're having bad dreams. Sometimes that does happen. Neg the, ne the energy in the house can cause us to have really bad dreams. I am going to say also, if you've had bad experiences, um, life experiences with the people that you're staying with that were not the best experiences, <clears throat> That could be coming up in the dream because you might not feel as safe in the house with them as you would. because And not like you're unsafe, but like maybe a, a another unhealthy situation might erupt. But I do in this case feel like it is some kind of energy. So we're going to keep clearing that throughout the show. If anybody feels that, it's not only for joy, it's for anybody listening, watching, re-listening, Rewatching whether it's on TV, whether it's on um, a, a podcast or a radio station, wherever you're listening and watching, because the show does air on, you know, WSES, all of their streaming channels, all of Road Ranger, Rangers streaming channel, Roku, all, many television channels or stations, it streams on and... Um, <sighs> almost every podcast with WSCS, with Rude Rangers, all of them that I've put it on and um, a Rude Rangers radio station airs the show. Um, so there's a number of places this is out there on and um, oh, this is heavy, you guys. This is, hmm. Okay, so for everybody listening, re-listening, if there is any old icky energy hanging around, it is it it is going now, okay? I'm going to go to, and thank you for that, Joy, and I'm sorry that you're going through that. Let's go to 417. 417, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Uh, this is Linda. I'm calling from North Carolina. Hey, Linda. How thank can you I for taking my call. Absolutely. How can I help you today? <laughs> So I'm, I'm at home um, watching my granddaughter and I want to make some extra money or kind of like a full-time gig or whatever. I have three things that I'm thinking of. I have an idea of which one would be the best for me. Um, can you help me narrow it down? Absolutely. As well? <laughs> Absolutely. So how would you, do you want me to tell you what yeah. I have? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So tell me each okay. thing and I'll tell you which one tests the strongest. Okay. So um, I've already started putting it out there. Um, it's Etsy doing stuff on there, or putting products or whatever. Uh, the other one is working for someone I worked in the past. Um, and then there's, uh, painting furniture, or that type of thing. Okay. Working for someone. So those are that, my three. Okay. Working for someone that you worked for in the past tests that that will be the easiest. And yeah, go for that. It doesn't mean you're going to do it forever. You're just going to do it until the other ones kind of start to take off. So with Etsy, definitely go for the Etsy thing. If, if you're comfortable doing that and which you, I think you said you already started, um, but that might be a little bit slower building than the mm -hmm. other things. Um, so, and it's a lot of, you know, algorithms and marketing 
and taking your things from Etsy and putting them on yeah. other spots and letting people know. So there's a lot of that involved. It's not like you just, like when Etsy first began, you put something on Etsy and boom, you know, you were one of maybe a hundred people on Etsy. Now they're everybody like, it's like YouTube. Everybody's on, everybody's yeah. here. Everybody, you know, it's, it's one of those right. things. Um, the, what I'm getting is yeah. the bigger payoff, the quicker payoff is going to be the thing with the friend. The other thing is the Etsy thing. You let it grow, let it continue to grow. Um, do as much as you can with it and let it continue to go, but it's not going to be the big, quick payout you're hoping for there will be money from it um uh and then the third thing painting furniture uh i kind of get you know if you really don't love and want to do something it is it worth it if you have other things you can do that's the answer i get for that does that make sense to you really because i actually like the I actually like the painting, though. I'm just wondering if the paint, putting the painting on Etsy or something. Okay, so is this painting? I'm not sure. <laughs> is this painting for somebody else? Is it painting for furniture for somebody else or for yourself? No, so I would be painting furniture or maybe some type of knickknack per se, and selling it oh. from there. So. Okay, so that um, goes with the Etsy thing, kind okay. of. So again, yes. Uh, the Etsy, well, the Etsy has different products. It has more like t-shirts and mugs and that type of thing. So that one isn't going so well right now. I think it's kind of saturated. Okay, here's what I'm getting. Um. Mm -hmm. What I'm getting is the thing for your friend, the thing you used to do, that might be the thing that pays off the fastest and the quicker, quickest. The painting, okay. again, okay. I'm getting the, uh, it's the payoff end of it. Um, okay. That's the whole thing of it. Like, if you're doing this and you, where does, how do you get, the best pay payoff or paid for it or get the money coming back to you is what and not that you're not good because you're good and it would be a good product um you would just have to find a new way or a different way to get it to people to market it to people okay to get it out there so gotcha. rather than using, let's, do, you have to find, so even for like the first thing you mentioned that you already have on Etsy, um, experiment, put it, put it on Craigslist, put it on Facebook marketplace, put it on um, neighborhood. Like there's this uh, 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 Pewaukee buy, sell trade mm -hmm. and every neighborhood has one. Do it there instead and see what the results are. But if you're looking for something that's going to bring money in the fastest, the second option you told me is the one that's going to bring the money in more consistently and faster. But the second, the other two, you just have to find a way to get it in front of people without as much competition. Okay. Now, one of the things I am hearing for you is if you can get old furniture really old furniture and refurbish it now that would be something that would mm -hmm. be good for you too but you have to get the piece and you have to really put was, the time and effort into it and refurbish that's what I was it pretty much doing yeah that will yeah, definitely that will definitely have a payoff for you okay love okay i really appreciate uh, you confirming some of this for me so you have yourself a good day and I'll let you go on to the next next person. And thank you so much. And, you know, if you can find those really good pieces, that will be the best, the best thing for you. Okay. Yeah, no, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, absolutely. You guys, I want to say this clearing of this energy, this clearing of the energy, the old, um, whatever energy is really who 
it's really, uh, there is something big going. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels it, but I can feel it. 860, you are going to be the next caller. Just give me a second here. I'm going to go see if there's a uh, another question I can answer. So I'm going to go to Lolly. I just lost everybody. My timeline jumped up, uh, jumped up. Um, I listed my Lolly says I listed my house for sale and I got a full price offer within 24 hours. Yeah. Houses are going like hotcakes at Denny's. That's all I can say. Um, you were right. I asked you about selling it a year or so ago and you said it would, Oh yeah, it would. Yeah. Thank you for that confirmation. Sal says, hi, Tony, trying to get a website built. There is a company that will do it for uh, 199 or the other company wants 99 a page. Well, the one that, you know, Sal, yeah, the 199 will work, but I go through IX hosting. I get no money for this. I get no discount for this. I go through IX hosting, build your site, and I built my whole site myself. And I'm dyslexic. So I feel like if I could do it, a lot of people could do it. Anybody could do it. Um, websites now are basically, you have a photo. If you want photos on it, you upload your photos and they have a spot for photos. Um, and then if you, they have boxes that you fill in the text. And the really good thing about IX hosting or build your site, which is one company, anytime I call them, they will walk me through whatever I need to be walked through if I don't understand it. Um, but if you're the type, if you are some people just are not comfortable with technology and don't want the hassle of it um then by all means the 199 will work and they'll do a good job there will be some things you'll want to tweak the only thing you want to make sure with any company that you allow to build your site is that once they build it you have all the controls and you can go in and expand and you can like, basically, you don't want them to have control of your site. And anytime you need something changed that they, that they, you have to go through them to change it. And there's a charge for it. And that you want to make sure also that um, they're very, I'm hearing the word like amenable to any changes that you want, like they don't give you the site. And then if you want changes, um, it's going to cost you more. Okay. Uh, so that's what I have for you, Sal. Uh, just make sure that when it's all said and done, you get all the codes, all the keys, and um, it's your site. It's yours. And if you want to change anything, you, it's easy. It's an easy site to work with because sometimes people who do your site, they'll do it all in code. And then if you want to change anything, you can't. Okay, so that's that's just what I'm going to say about that. And I think I said the next caller was 860. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla, I'm doing well. Hello? How are you? Good, 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 good. Um, so I'll get right to the question. So I, um, my social life, did you feel it? Um, picking up in the month of July and me going places. Yes, I know. And meeting somebody. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I knew that's where you were going. So yes, and no. I do feel like you're going to be up and out. I feel like you're going to be doing something, some things, getting out there. But I feel like um, when you're talking about meeting someone, I, I'm gonna. I, I what I feel is. You will meet people, but not the particular person you're looking for. I feel like that's going to come in end of August, beginning of September, um, anywhere okay. up until September. Okay. I'm actually seeing September 5th, September 9th. I'm also hearing that it will be in like the end of August, something will be going on, but then September, beginning of September is very strong for you to meet someone also. I do feel like you're going to have to um, look at things differently. So for example, one of the okay. things that I had to really, really embrace in 
um, in relationships, whether it's a friendship or something else is I had to get to that point where I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, if you're yeah. my friend and you get shady, I don't care if I leave you behind. If you're a partner of mine and you get shady, I just don't care if it works out or not anymore. I just because and if I'm single, I don't care if I'm with somebody or not. Like my life is not about another person. My life is about, you know, what I'm presenting and, and what I'm doing or whatever. But for you, Amla, I'm kind of getting, you have to get into that. I don't care energy. Otherwise it comes off as a little bit of a desperate energy, even though you're not desperate. Um, it does come off yeah. as a, I'm looking everywhere for someone. I'm looking everywhere for that. And people feel that energy and they sometimes it, it can push back the right person. So one of the things right, right. that they're saying is just look at all the good that you have and how you are on your own and just say, I'm okay like this for the rest of my life. Like I'm on my own. Like, and here's my other thing. If you're a girly and this is in guys, this, it doesn't mean that this doesn't apply to you, but, but this is more significant for my girlies and, and guys, it could apply to you. And if it does take it, own it. If you're living on your own and you're taking care of everything already on your own, you're paying all your bills. If you have children and you're taking care of your children and you, you have it right. Don't just let anybody yeah. into that energy. Whoever comes in had better top that. They had better like be it's, it's bring, what love? It's it's just interesting. I just have one comment. It's um because my blindness is really kicking in, um uh, progressive vision loss, I can't go to people anyway. It's funny. It's interesting that you're saying that because I don't recognize faces anymore. I go to yoga class, people are waving at me, I have no idea if it's a man or a woman. Okay. It's funny. I actually, so, I, am, I am the observer. I am totally the observer. It's, okay. It's, it's a very interesting perspective, pun intended. No, I get that. And, and here's what I'm going to say, and I'm going to correct a word that I used in looking for people and saying wanting someone. Um, sometimes people go and they're like literally looking around, but that energy of, and in your case, Amla, I'm going to make this a little bit more specific to you. Because you do have your progressive eye disease going on, there's a part of you that really wants and feels as though you need someone because, and I'm, I'm going to address this, please don't be offended by it, but because of that, and, and I get that 1 million percent because as we do mature sometimes, whether we have um, a, a, a progressive eye disease or a heart problem, people start to think, I don't want to go through this alone. I don't want to be alone in my like golden years or my mature time or through this or, you know, I want someone to be there, whatever it is, whatever the reasoning is. And we have to hone back and say, I've got this. If somebody's here or not, I've got me and I'm okay with this. I'm okay. I'm perfectly okay with the way everything is. That doesn't mean you're not still wanting a partner. That means you have accepted where you are. And once you accept where you are, once you accept being where you are and you acknowledge I can do this for the rest of my life and I'll be just fine. If I go completely blind, which, you know, unfortunately, I'm going to be fine. I've got it. I don't need nor want someone based on that or any other one thing because I've got it. Now, here's the difference between many men and many women not all men have got it right men feel their most men feel very secure in their income in their living situation in the fact that there are a plethora of women 
that are willing to be with them, even if they have other people in there. A man can be sitting next to a girl in a restaurant and they are clearly together and a woman will be thinking she's covertly hitting on him, walking by, giving him the smile, blah, 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 totally disrespecting the woman that he's with, right? Men know it. They've got it, right? Women can sometimes be a little desperate acting and desperately behaving, doing things with people that already have a partner. Not judging. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. It's just a reality. And I'm not saying men don't do that too, because men do. Trust me, men do. Men step out and they they will be with people who have a partner. But men have that security, that feeling, that knowing, right? And they're good because they just have that knowing where women sometimes don't feel that knowing that whether somebody's in my life or not, I've got this. I don't care. It, like it, if somebody comes in, they're the cherry on top and they're bringing the freaking whipped cream. Okay. Not, not this person. If I don't have this person, I'm not complete or I'm not gonna, what, whatever it is for whoever it is. And that's the point I'm trying to make sometimes with you, Amla. And I'm trying to say it so gently, I'm not being blatant and out there with it. And I don't want to be blatant and out there with it because sometimes I've been told I can be a little harsh. <laughs> harsh. Sometimes people aren't ready for all of the reality that I can put upon their laps. <laughs> and I get that because I'm not even ready for all of the reality that gets put upon my lap for me. I get it. One million percent. But that's the message I have for you today, Amla. I hope that that makes sense to you. And I'm going to go to 845. 845, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hey there, what's your name? Where are you calling Hi. from? Hello. My name is Maria. I call from New York. How are you? Hey, Maria. I'm I call doing... from New York. Uh, what, how, yes. can, how can I help you today, Maria? Give me a message from my husband. Absolutely. Maria, your husband wants to tell you, um, Maria, I, I'm going to add, your husband wants to tell you, don't be sad anymore. Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck anymore. Be, be free, be free. Um, your husband wants to tell you. You're, you have been, I think, a little um, nervous or afraid in some things and to release yourself from that. I'm actually going to, you know what, you guys, I'm just going to do some clearings. Thank you, Maria. I'm going to do some clearings. Um, we, we are stuck. I get a yes. All that's keeping us, all that's stopping and or blocking us or keeping us stuck has been cleared, healed, and released. I get a no. Whew, all that caused us and kept this has been cleared, healed, and released. Let's get all of this out. It's time for us to move forward. It really is time for us to move forward. Um, we are, a f well, fear is a big one. Uh, we, we have been, um, it, well, let's just do stuck for now, okay? Oh, that is big. You guys, these healings today are taking me under. <laughs> and then I hear that sound. Um uh, never mind. I'll say it in a minute. Um, so it, it, we're going to clear this so you can start to get out and to uh, and be on your. What he wants to say is, Maria, again, I, I'm getting this message for you again. And the message is it's time for you to move. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to start doing what you need to do. Um, everything is in place. Just take your steps. OK, love? Yeah, I, I, I got to sell my house. Yes. I got to sell the house from here in the United States to go back in Italy for good. The house will sell very, you'll get a very good price. Don't be afraid to up price, meaning put a bigger price. And um, because the worst a person will do is negotiate. But right now, houses, there are no houses available anyplace. So the moment you put your house on a market, 
you're going to get such a good price for it. So don't be afraid to list it for more than than what you think. Because if if somebody likes the house, they, they'll just make you an offer and, you, and your realtor can negotiate that. So Maria, get your, get your house listed and go back home. If that's what's in your heart and it is in your heart, then it's time for you to do that. And don't be afraid. So uh, we're afraid to move forward. That's what you were trying to say. We're afraid to move forward. I get a yes. Let's clear that. Holy guacamole, and, and folks. Then, yes. Okay, Maria. I think I think that, you know, I wish, again, I wish I was there to help you, but I'm going to tell you this. I feel like you are going to find somebody who is going to be able to help you and send in the right people for you. Okay, love? Thank you. You are so welcome, sweetie. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And your husband is helping you from the other side to do the things that you need to do. Okay, love? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. you Thank are... you, I trust you. Thank you. I'll get the... You are, Thank you. you are so, oh my goodness, you're so welcome, love. I hope you have an amazing day and you can call back in anytime, Maria. I'm always happy to talk with you. Um, I'm going to go to, uh, uh, let's see, who's the next question? I don't even know you guys who's the next question. <laughs> and, um, uh, it says, uh, Diana says, hi, Tony. I hope you're doing great. Uh, she's from Houston. My question is, is there a message from, from me in general from my deceased grandma? Kuka, Chuka. Um, C-U-C-A is the spelling of that. Uh, yes. <clears throat> She was, okay, I'm going to just give a little descriptor, um, Diana, and if this descriptor fits um, her or somebody else, please let me know in the chat. I see somebody with very olive or tan skin, and um, it looks like Mediterranean skin, even if she was not Mediterranean. It's that beautiful, like, tan skin, and she was probably, like, she was like my mom where my mom was not a big person, but she was a little bit bigger boned. She had that, like, my mom had a really nice, um, uh, I don't want to say my mom had a nice body, but she always had a nice body, but she was never like that super thin person because she was a little bigger boned. And um, her message to you, I know that's not a very good descriptor, but that's what I, what I can see from this. Um, she is wanting to tell you that um, you're going to have some luck coming in next month, in the month of July. There's going to be many lucky days for you um, or days that seem very lucky. Now, luck doesn't mean, oh, I won the lottery, although who knows, right? Luck means, oh my gosh, I have all green lights. My boss is in a great mood. That's a lot, that's a good day too. Like days where everything is going really well. Many, many, many of them in the month of July. I feel like there is a bonus coming in for you. And she wants you to know that the sun is on your side through the whole month of July and into August. And that you're going to have many epiphanies, many bright, like breakthrough thoughts and many breakthrough thoughts that are going to help you to, like they're going to be catalysts for you moving forward. Okay, love? I hope that's helpful for you. Now, oftentimes when we ask for one person, other people will come through with them. So if that's not one grandma's description, it could be another grandma or her even her mom's description but i feel like that is your grandma okay i'm gonna go to i think it's 651 is next 651 did i already talk with you what's your name where are you calling from hi this is christiana calling from minnesota hey christiana how can i help you hi i i was just wondering if uh 
you could connect with my grandmother, Bernadine, and if she has any advice for me, like, am I on the right path, or is there other things I should be doing with myself, or... Okay. I know that's kind of vague, but... No, it's okay, Christiana. Um, your grandmother's here, and then the first thing... There's a, uh, okay, so let's just get to this. Christiana, what are you doing right now? What What is the path that you're on? Um, I'm, I'm going to start taking classes in, um, well, August, actually, for to be a shamanic practitioner. Okay. Um, I, mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, you're doing the right thing in the wrong way is the message I'm getting. Um, I have to be really, really careful of how I say the next things I'm going to say. Um, being a healing practitioner is really good. And I love that. But there might be a modality that is much better suited to you much, much better suited to you, much better suited to you. Um, modality has been, what do you mean? Like shamanic healing is one modality. Reiki is another modality. The reconnection is another modality. My liquid oh, fish okay. is another modality. The thing with shamanism for most shamans, and I'm Native American. I'm, I'm Native American. Um, both of my grandmothers were 100% Native American Indian. But with shamanism, it's my understanding that most shamans believe you have to play with the light and the dark. Mm, I don't, I don't want to play with the dark. <laughs> most people don't want to work with the dark. Okay. We want to get rid of it, but we don't want to. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe not all shamans are like that, but that's my understanding. One thing I would really say to you is to explore modalities, other types of healing that may be a little bit different for you. I want you to, um, Jimmy Mack is a really good healer. Um, I want you to, if you can, if you're comfortable doing this, schedule a healing with Jimmy Mack. And it's, you know, J-I-M-M-Y-H-A-C-K healing, H-E-A-L-I-N-G dot com. Schedule a session with him. You will feel how his work seconds. works and how powerful it is. And I think you will understand what I'm talking about, okay? Because there are much easier, faster ways to learn healing work and to do healing work without all of that, okay? Uh, I I hope that's helpful for you, love. I hope that's really, really helpful yeah. with you, for you, okay? You're on the right track. You're just maybe, maybe there's a... a, a just a, be, a a more powerful way, a better way for you, for you. Now, some people are shamans are really good at it. I just feel like for you, for you, there's something better out there. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. Thank you for the reading. You're so welcome. Now, here's what I want to say too. And I, the last caller is always somebody I wish I could have. Not that, mm. Uh, okay. Thank you everybody for listening and joining. I love you so much. Have an absolutely amazing day.